22 minutes at the most, or like, let's say 27. Let's just be an idiot. I reckon it's at even less than 17 minutes after it happened. So less than 17 minutes after it happened, like Justin Jarvis. He just, I had my room door open and I was in my room and I hadn't even left my room since it happened, since 17.28 or 5.28 p.m. Because the 5.28 signifies the 5th of May, 20, the 28th day. So that's why I like to say 5.28 p.m. even though it, even though when I opened it, it when, even though when I turned on the phone it said 17.28 and um, 4G. If I work out 17, wait, I want to talk about Justin Jobs. He was born on the, I've known him since 2000 and, um, what's the name? But, um, uh, I come to really like him as a person. And, um, he came in the room and he asked me for a lighter at, um, about 5.35 p.m. And um, he was he was saying he just come from police cell or prison. And I was saying I don't smoke, so yeah, I did say I don't smoke, even though I didn't want to talk to men. I did just say that. I did just say I don't smoke. And then I don't think he really, because it was quite dark in my room. I don't really think he realised who he was talking to until I said that and then I think he might have recognised me like he, like he recognised my voice or something and then and then like about say 20 something minutes later he came to my room door and I had the light on well no no I didn't have the light on but it was quite light in my room because I was using my phone and the phone shining in my face and he was standing by my door and I think he wanted to talk to me or say something but I wouldn't look up. I didn't want to look, I didn't want to make any eye contact with any men so I uh, didn't look up but I, was, I wasn't thinking it was him, I was thinking it was this other guy who who I really didn't want to look at even more. And, um, it was Justin, and, um, I found out it was Justin, like, after he sort of turned to walk away or something like that. And, um, or when I just really late on um, like he was standing by, by my door for like, it seemed like uh, two, like one and a half minutes or something, just standing right by my door, looking at me. And I think he was looking at me. I wasn't looking at him, so I couldn't see if he was looking at me, but I'm sure he wanted a conversation or something because he knows me. I really like him, he's cool. I like him. I I got less of a problem with him than I have with John and Will Payne. And the thing is, on the 4th of June 2021, I was brought into I was brought into this room called uh it's locked anyway, but um G93. I shouldn't be doing this, should I? Because if um, if when this video goes viral, like it will, people will say, "Why did you do that?" And um, I'll say, I, "I was just doing it because this was my room. It's like there's the sink, and there that's where I used to piss in. And because um, obviously you can't you can't just come out of your room all the time and go to the Toilet. This, this is well hard to lock as well. The the lock's nearly broken. You have to like 
I don't know, it's just a piss take. I'd rather let my piss out in a sink and keep the water flowing. And um, that's just the way I did it. Because, uh, but um, that wasn't really the point of the video. <laughs> <laughs> to say that I don't use that toilet really. Not much, not very often. Not for a piss anyway. It's like, it's further to walk. Um, so, Justin's on it like this. So yeah, I, on 4th of June 2021, I came into this room room 93 and I stayed in here until the 20th of October so four months and 16 days I've stayed in there for four months and 16 days and I was on antipsychotics and I was fucked they were stabbing me in the ass twice the injections the effects of the injections would last like three months three months in your system Someone can just come and stab you in the ass, and then your mind's fucked up for three months, and you can't, you can't feel like you, you can't feel like you're real. I don't know. No, you just feel like totally fucked for three months. You're being totally traumatized, and like, it's like, it's like being shut. It's like being shut away in a prison. Even if you're not in a prison, even if you're just in your mansion or whatever with your 24, with your 23 girlfriends, even if you're in that situation and you, you've been stabbed with the stuff, you just feel like you can't, you feel like you're in a prison and you just can't, the whole, everything becomes scarier. It's, oh man, it's, these people, these people, man. But yeah, let's not, um, let's not bicker amongst ourselves, that's what happened, and it happened for good reason. So, um, I was fucked up for four three or four months in there, in room 93. And the point I'm saying this is when I moved in on the 4th of June, like, let's just get to the point here and stop bickering and saying, ah, oh, he stabbed me, he fucked me up. Like, the thing was that being fucked up and not feeling like I could talk and being so fearful and feeling so much fear of just being alive and like it's not a fear of being alive because you're too much of a wimp it's because they've fucked your brain up so that life seems so fucking scary oh man I don't want to explain it to stuck up bitches like um like Joyce Westwood was the last time I spoke to her. Um, but I don't like calling people bitches either. And then, um, like whatever someone's done to you, you just got to try and be nice to them. Um, because then things will be better. So, to explain it in a normal way, what happened on the 4th of June, I was in there and I was angry. I was angry because they were injecting me. Like, uh, like I had a problem, I had an anger problem because <laughs> they were forcing me down shoving my face into a mattress, sticking my ass in the air, pulling down my trousers, 
sticking a needle in my ass, and that's why I was angry. And that's and before they even did that, I was angry because they were telling me that's what they're gonna do. And they're threatening me. There was no question they were gonna do it to me, so what the fuck is that? <laughs> that is sick man. It's a really sick world we're living in like we were living in. We're not living in that world anymore, man. This world is so much better now. But that's how it was on the 4th of June 2021. And I moved into that room. And next door, in 1994, room 94, G is the, G is the six, nah, it's like 794. Um, so I was in room 93, Justin Jarvis was in room 94, 94, and then he was born on 12th of July, 1981. And then um, on the 27th of July, 29, on the 26th of July, I think it was, 2021, he moved out and um, he got his own, well, I mean, he already had his own place, but I mean, no, he didn't. He was waiting for months and months, and um, he'd been waiting for months for his own place. So then, he, and then he got it. So he moved out, and um, the next day, John Will Payne from the Hollies. We used to share two-bedroom flat in March 2021 before I moved out because of him and his girlfriend were annoying me with their music really loud and just always 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 talking and um, just making me feel um, not completely uh, welcome in the same mind space. Like it used to be like ah, uh, it used to be like John and mine's two bedroom flat. But then when when his girlfriend, who I really like, I mean not in a, not in a jealous way, yeah. So, um, just had to deal. Um, yeah, that's the point. I just talked to a man, but I didn't even think, I didn't even think about it. He was just asking me for change, for some money, and I, I just completely forgot. I'm, I'm going to stop talking to men and, um, Anyway, it wasn't a big deal, like, it wasn't a very big deal. Like, I didn't even realise it had happened until it had finished. Like, I knew it was happened, obviously, but I didn't really think about the implications of it. Um, but in the future, I think I won't respond to anything. I'll just be in my just won't respond. But anyway, yeah, let's talk about Justin Jarvis again. Um, he's a good guy. And, um, yeah, he moved out like 25th of July, all the. I think it was about 25th of July 2021, and then on the 27th of July 2021, John William Payne came and moved into room 94. Like, Justin moved out, and John moved in. 
and I'd been in contact with John Will, John Payne on the I'd been in contact with him on like text messages. Um just like uh, um how long ago was it? Like um, three. Fuck no, I can't even remember what I was saying. Um, so yeah, so he texted me like. He texted me about three weeks in like, he texted me at the start of July, that's Justin Jarvis, and um, um, uh, I don't want to listen to him, I mean, not because I don't like him, it's just like, I want to cut off communication with men, like, I don't want to listen, and I don't want to talk. Just, like, completely cut myself off from and be uh, totally hostile. Well, maybe smile, but just don't make any eye contact at all, like, you know what I'm saying? So he moved in. John Willem and Payne moved in on the 27th of July and uh, it was, if you follow my other videos, I probably said in a different video how that Tucker's Miracle came on and it was one day before he moved in and uh, reminded me of the time that um, he asked me to come to his room and then uh, and it came on the radio that time. So anyway, we've been neighbours, like, in two different places. I wasn't expecting him to come to hospital, and he didn't say he was coming to hospital. He just turned up, and then he moved straight in next door to me, and it was fucking... I just thought it was awesome. Not that I liked him so much, it's just because of all the fucking so dynamic, uh, all the stuff happening so dynamically. And he was born on the 7th of the 7th, 1985, and then, like, um, my best friend was born on the 14th. The 14th of the 7th, 1984. So, they're all Cancerians and they all, they all remind me of each other. But especially, well, yeah, they all remind me of each other. Like, um, I had quite a lot of friends who are Cancerian. Um, not exactly friends, I mean, just people I would get on with, like, Elizabeth Smith, oh, fuck, man. Like, um, I had a friend who was born on the, I had a friend who was, uh, I oh, know, that's it. Like, um, well, there, were, there was two friends I had, born on the 14th of July. Like my best friend was man, and there was this girl who was started to be a good friend. He was born on the 14th of July as well, and um, she uh, lost she lost a human body. I can't remember. She probably went to a different planet or something. 
But yeah, her life didn't seem like a big deal to her, like she didn't care about it that much. Um, it wasn't like she was re really trying to save herself from dying, or whatever you call it. Um, so it was just today, when it was today as well, it's, it's the 15th of March, yeah, and I made... The crane, the, I mean, the, it was like a red, in Hellraiser 3, there's a red, like, digger, I think it is, not a crane, but it just looks very similar to the, to the vehicle that came today that was red. And, um, the cement mixer. All that was today, and then Justin Jarvis came in, he's admitted today, and you can look it up in the records, because everyone makes records of these things. When someone comes into hospital, people make a record of it. So it's all, i got proof for everything I say, it's not like I'm talking out of my ass. like, it's all written down. Justin Jarvis came in today, after, like five minutes after, I put, I put the, after I let heaven, like, after I put, like, hell down, like, let down, like, hell, I put the box of hell in the ground, and it was only five minutes late, he came in my room, something like that. And it's not even my room, it was his room in the first place. It's room 94, I was... Like, I've been in this ward so many times, like, I've been in this ward, like, eight times, or... Nine times I've been on this ward, or something like that. But I can work it out now, like, I was in... First I came into... Room 80, then I came into room 83, and then I came into room 56, and then I came into room 63, and then I came into room. Hmm. Um, 63, yeah. I was only in 63 for a few days, and then I was in room 95, and then I was in room 93 twice, and then I was in room 94, so. And room 95 once. So you can work that out. <laughs> no, I've got to work that out now. Because I've said it all, but I didn't, I wasn't counting, so now I've got to do it properly. Like, uh, I've got to rely on it myself. So I was in room 80, and that's one. I was in room 83, and that's two. Oh shit, I was in room 84 as well. So, um, I want to do it in order though. So first, on the... On the 20, it was about the 20, uh, it was about the, f yeah, I'm alright, I don't really talk to men anymore, I'm going on a, I don't know, uh, Trying to get straighter in my head. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was in this room. This was the first room I had in uh, 2018. Yeah. So that was like July the 1st or something like that. And, um, or June the 28th or something like that. I don't even have to work that out. I'm not trying to work out the fucking dates. Like, so that was 2018, that was one. And then this was two. This was the second one. And then um, down there was the third one. I don't have to go down there to say it was the third one. I know it was the third one, so that's three. And then um, four was um, 
Number four, I think it was, uh, shit, I've only got to number three so far. And there's so much shouting going on, like, and so much talking going on. I mean, um, pretty hard to concentrate, so I'm gonna keep trying. So it's, it's all about persistence. So just keep trying, and that's all there is to fucking do, right? Just keep trying, keep trying. Alright, so, like I know all the rooms I was in, so it was room 80, and I'm gonna add them all up, so not with the zeros, that's too complicated. That's too much effort to do the zeros as well. But so I was in room 80, and then room 83, so that's 19. And then um, I was in room 56 and that's, um, that's 30, so the third room I, I was in came to 30. And then this, I'm sure this was the third, this was the fourth room I was in. I was only in there for about two minutes or five minutes and I, I pulled down the curtains and smashed, kicked the chest of drawers and I said, get me the fuck out of there. And they put me in a better place. Not a different room, a different ward. So um, that was my fourth room, so that's 30... Um, 30 plus 12, it's 42. And then I was in um, room 63. And um, so there's 93 and 63. So this is the same number, but the nine's turned upside down to be six. But I don't know if that's in the right order. But anyway, it was definitely in room. 63, so that's uh, 42 plus 6 and 3, and um, that's um, 9, so 40, 6, 42, that's 51, so we're on 51, and then, um, ah, sh- fourth room, and then that's the fifth room. And then the sixth room was got to be, um, that was room 95. So, sixth room was room 95. I was only in there for a couple of days. Well, no, that's not right actually. Sixth room was, um, I'm on 51. Sixth room. Six rooms, eighty-four. So um, that was the horriblest room. That was the horriblest time. Um, that's twelve. So fifty-one and twelve is uh, fifty-one and twelve is. Um, 63. So that's 63. And then I moved into room. Wait. 63 is the. It was the sixth room, right? You're not talking about an old dildo or nothing, right? Um, so. 84 was the sixth room, man. Yeah? Well, I'll work it out again. So, 83 was the 6th room, 95 was the 7th room, um, 63 had 14, 63 had 14 is, um, 63 had 14 is 77, so it's like two sevens, and then next to 77, next to room 95, 
is room 94 and John Payne was in that room and he was born on the 7th of the 7th and my best video, well not my best video actually, it's not my best video but one of my best videos was called How I'm God 4 and at the moment that's got 7.7 thousand views um, so that's 77 and the 7th and the 7th room I was in and then I've already been in there, no I haven't so 93 was the 8th room and 70, 73 plus 12, 77 plus 9 and 3, 77 plus 12, um, is 89, yeah? Yeah, 7789, like the, the year of the snake. 1978, 1977, 1989, like the years of the snake. Both having, um, like, uh, the buff for, like, bands like the Clash sort of thing in the 1976, but, like, the punk movement, and then, like, the Manchester Acid, like Stone Roses, 1989. So, both the year of Snake, and they're both pretty cool, man. So, um, that was the eighth frame. And, um, so that was the eighth frame, and it, was, it comes to 89. And then 94 was the... <laughs> the final room, and um, in Rollsby Ward, the final, the final room in Rollsby Ward was G93 and room 9. And now, for this ward, the last room is, um, for this ward, the last room is 94 and 94 plus, well, 94 plus, uh, it's like, it's like room 9, it's the ninth room and it's G94, whereas the last on the, on the more serious ward, the last room was G93 and n room number nine. And then this is like G94 and the ninth room. The ninth room I've been on. So, so that's a lot of, this is like the, my ninth time I've been admitted to this ward. But as I say, like twice it was well, like three times actually, it was like less than three day, well, twice it was less than a day. Yeah, twice it was less than a day, and then once it was like less than five days in there. And that was, uh, that wasn't my worst one in 95, I let myself in there. 84 was the worst, oh fuck. So anyway, I'm still haven't worked it out, so this is, this is the ninth room, and it's um, 98 plus um, it's 102, so it's 12, so it's 3. So it's like 1 and 2. So it's like, it's 12 and it's 1 and 2. I mean it's 9 and it's 1 and 2. It's the ninth room, and it equals three. So nine and three are those special numbers because nine and three are also nine and six because all nine is is six upside down. So three and nine are the. Let's just work it out how I work that out again. Like 
Um, so 89 plus uh, 4 is 93 and then plus 9 is 102 and 102 Taking away the zeros is 12, and then adding up 12 is 3. So it's like 3, and it's the ninth room I've been in, so it's like 3 and 9, and 39 is where it all ends in um, 2020. Well, in 2024, that's when. That's when my 39 stuff happens, like, I start on 36, then get to 37, then 38, and then 39, and that's, that's the four years. That's the four years of hard work, like, well, no, there's more years of hard work. I started hard, working really hard when I was 35, so it's like six years, but then it must be seven years because that's my number, so... It's 40, so it's um, from the ages of um, 35 to 40, that's seven different ages. Like 35 is one age, and then 36 is another age, and then 37 is another age, and then 38 is another age. Hmm, wait a minute. So 35 is one age, and then 36 is one age, and then... 37 is 3 ages, 38 is 4 ages, 39 is 5 ages, and 40 is 6 ages, so when I first came into this ward, it was 2018, so I was 34, and um, that makes 7, so from the ages of 34 to 40, that's seven years, seven different angels are here. Oh, man. That's what we did it. It's done, like, well, I mean, it will be done. And then, um, I'm going to hand over my power to uh, Scott D. Flincham, no, whatever his name Scott D. Flincham. Scott. Uh, Flint D. Huh? I'm looking for the future and the past, so I'll let you Keep going. I'm from 1 to 9. Um, so I got that 7 thing going on. I, I thought of the age of 34 as being weakness, so. 34 was a weakness because I was having so many addictions and um, totally fucked my, totally smashed the fuck out of the thing and uh, it's uh, some really work. Um, it's like. Uh, we know Terminator 2, in Terminator 1, in 1984, it's filmed with a scar that looks like a kind of hole shaped like that. But in Terminator 2, in 1991, it starts cutting round, and cuts round and um, it rips the skin off and then does that. Now listen to me very carefully thing. And um that was when I was 34, did that. And then um So 34 was a weakness, then 35, since I was about 15 years since I was about 14 years old, I realized that um number 35 means working to me, it means just means working, and I know it means working, so 
34 was a weakness, 35 was working, and then 36 was like, well, 36 is like the number of a man, and his number 666. It's like three sixes. Three sixes? Yeah. yeah. So that's um, yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. Yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's cool, man. And then 37. 37 is like. Why is that? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that shit list? Why are people sitting there? So Why do you talk? Do you want to go in your room? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. 37. Keep some pets. Here's the thing that's out there. 37. Yeah, that's. Seven, um, seven, 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 seven. Uh, yeah, thirty seven is like seven, 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 because it's like three sevens. And then thirty. Thirty eight is like um, three eights. Hmm. Sure, just, I don't know. So 38 is like 3 eighths, which is 888. And then, um, uh, so 24. Um, 3 nines is like Excuse 9 nines. Excuse me, that's me, what's recording? But I'm not recording you. Even though I'm speaking with you? Well, can you shut up? So three nines is like nine nine nine. That's like an emergency number. And then four zero is like forty is a bit like four. So four is like my favourite number. As in I I I I like four eyes. It's my favourite number four, so that's how it ends. But um, as well, people, lots of people say life starts at 40, so that's another thing in the conundrum. Like, you, you know when you've been tangoed. And um, after I got tangoed, I got whiskeyed, that was even harder. And after I got whiskeyed, I got golfed, and that was even harder. And then after golf, after getting golf, I got hoteled, and that's even harder. Like, because hotel is like, in the Monopoly boards, it's just you're like, you own all this shit. And then, um, after hotel, indigo is even harder. And that's where I am now. Yeah, so that's 43 minutes long. I hope you enjoyed the video, you fucking arsehole. I mean, no, I'm not talking to you like that. It's just because I don't like talking to men, I'm going to stop it. And then, um, when I think about talking to men, it's like I am talking to men. So, it's all got to be stopped. All the imagining talking to men has got to be stopped. All the... Oh, fuck. Is there a seven? Yes, there was a seven when I thought, like, there's going to be a seven now. So, that's pretty good. And Michael, this is Michael Hack's 38th birthday. And he wrote, he wrote something on that. But, um, uh, George died on the 7th for the 7th, 2020, in Seven Hollies Lodge at uh, 1908 GMT. Or night between 1906 and 1908 GMT. And, um, and then. I realised like the next day, or yeah, I think I realised the next day like 
John will, John will, you know, John will Payne moved into the Hollies in room two. When I was in room seven, he, room, he moved into room two of the Hollies. And that was his first room at the Hollies. And he'd, he'd just come from Sharon. Just moved out of Sharon and into the Hollies. Uh, um, morning Forbes, so from Sharon to Morning Forbes, like S and M, and um, um, I went to school in Sharon, and then yeah, whatever he came to the Hollies on the second of March. No, he didn't. On the seventh of July. Uh, 2020, and that was the day George thought he was dying for real and didn't think he'd come back to this body, and it was like he was accepting that Michael Hack was right, that he is going to die one day, and he did. He died on the 7th of July, 2020, at about 1908 GMT. But not local time. But um, and that was what happened, and it was scary. It was scary. It was like, but definitely the biggest, most important day of his life up till then. And then a few weeks later, he realised John Payne's birthday of John William Payne's. John Will Payne's birthday was the 7th of July and John William Payne moved into the Hollies on his birthday on the day that George died and I then, well I mean on the, there's no such thing as dying, it's just bollocks, it's just a silly word because it doesn't describe, it doesn't describe in detail what's going on. It just says, like, it's just a nonsense. It's a nonsense word because, because everyone lives. Whatever happens to you, you're always living. You can't stop living. No matter if you want to or not, you just can't. And, um... So, all my life turned upside down, I'd like to make me sit right there and tell you how the story I came to be here. So, it all started, like, <laughs> do you not remember? Um, so that was, what was about seven, I right? yeah, the seven things are like, the ages of 37 to 40, and now I want to add all of them up. So 34 plus 35 is 69. So that's a good number to start off with. 69 is like sexual position, but it's also just 6 and 9. It's also the same number, just I've turned upside down. It's 6 and 9, so 69, and then... And then after 69, it goes 36, and there, they're all the core numbers. They're all 3, 6, and 9 are all the same. Like, 3 and 6 are all there is, really. 3 and 9, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but it's about the Amiga, all the Amiga fucking 3, 6, and 9, and the other 3, 6, and the 9 shit. So we haven't worked it out yet. Uh, I haven't worked it out yet, so 69 plus... Um, 99, 69 plus 36 is 69 plus 31st, so, so 69 plus 30 is 99, and then plus 6 is 105, and that's 15, so that equals love, but let's just keep it 105, because there might be some big numbers that are interesting, so... So 105 plus 37 is, um, 2, um, 105 plus 
37 is 142. And 142 is 14 and 5 and 7. So it equals 7 is 37. So it's 142 and then 38 plus 142 looks like a quite nice round number and it's 180. So it's like darts, like a 9 dart finish. And when you get to 38, it's like the last day of being 38 comes to, it finishes in becoming 39. So it's like a, it's like a nine dart. It's like nine darts or whatever. What the fuck? It's not even nine dart finish anyway. So that's um, 180 plus 39 is uh, 111. 139, 109, 180 plus 30, 180 plus 30 is 110, uh, 119, it's around 119, no, it can't be on 119, huh? it was already on 180, so it was on 180, you got to 210, so it's 210, 219, and 219 is like the second, no it's not, it's um, it's 219, it's two, it's like 21, 21st, it's 21, 2, 219. 2.19 a.m. So it's 2.19, like 2.19. Um, so that's 2.19, and then... Um, what happened? It was on 180 before. And then it was on 2.19. And then... It was on... Um, it's on 159 and 159 is 6 plus 9 is 15 and 15 equals love. So it's love. So between the ages of 34 and 40 it comes to love. So that's a good thing to know. Yeah, we could say six. But I, I don't say six because if I've got a remainder 15, if I've got a remainder of 15, that just means love to me. So there's no point in saying six. It's already as good as it can get. 15 is love. And I want to, talk, I want to tell you a story about the 23rd of November now. I want to tell you a story about the 23rd of November... 2021, which is, no, it's not a story about that, it's a story about the 21st of November, 2021, and, um, I looked at the time, and it said 8.42am, and I took a photograph of it, because, the temperature was 22 Celsius point two. So it was like 222, two, two, like the up and coming 222, like the up and coming 2022. Like I remember about the 2022 thing we saw on the, around uh, in America on the highways, like highway 2022 or whatever. All those dates around there, all the same road numbers, nearly all, all in the year 2000. Like there was 
there was the road number 2001 and 2002 and then there was 2014 and there was 2023 and there was 2024 and there was um, uh, there was 2016 as well what a road so um, what I liked about 2016 was in March I found out about this guy with the initials A E J and A E J he was on YouTube and then he got banned but um he got banned in August 2017 or something. No, maybe 2018, like August 2018 or 19 or something. And it happened when I was in this ward. And that was saddening. Because, uh... And I realised, like, I have to do something. Um, it's not going to be... Nah, let's not talk about it like that. I just thought it was quite sad. Um, so there was AEG and then DJT and then what's the other one? There must be another one like JR. Yeah, they were like, they were like the three big people on the internet. <laughs> um, I can't remember why I said that. Oh yeah, 2016 was a big year, wasn't it? Like in March, I found... That guy with the initials E, A, E, J, I mean. And I thought it was good, but it turned out that I'd seen, I'd seen a film he made in um, 2013, which was made in 2009, and, or 2008 and 9, and um, that film had a big impact on me. And then also... One called, um, there's another documentary. It was just two documentaries from the Illuminati. From, I had a girlfriend, Jasmine Gonzalez, from New York and um, Brooklyn, and she had a tattoo on her arm, of, on her left arm saying Brooklyn. And the thing is about her, she introduced me to the Illuminati. I never never knew nothing about what was going on like that before and then she uh she recommended i watch this uh a e j film so i watched that film and it's called obama deception and um had a big in impact on me and then after I watched that on the same day or something, I watched, I watched The Money Masters by Bill someone, and it's such a great documentary, it's, it's like, starts off in like, 16th century or something in England, and it's all about how the bankers took a uh, charge, and uh, I think it's called Money Masters, the... I can't remember, man, but... Bill, Money Masters, it's got to be there. You've got to be able to find that film, like... And that had a big impact on me as well, and I saw both of those on the same day, I think, and then... After I'd seen those two documentaries, because... After I'd seen those two documentaries, I just, I became really angry and depressed, and I, I was angry and depressed for months, and I couldn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to watch any more videos, so I didn't, never watched any more videos like that, but what I did do, was that I made a, like, 
Like when people talk about praying, like I don't pray. What I do is uh, act. And um, how I do it is I like, it's like, maybe it starts off like, it starts off with the emotions usually, it starts off with a, some kind of usual emotion you get when you feel like you just you just need to pray like something like that but but it's it gets a bit more like involved than that it's like <coughs> it's like it's like It's like a complete assault, like, it's like a complete, well, it's like, it's like a complete attack, and that's spiritual warfare, and another name for spiritual warfare is witchcraft, and they're both the same thing, it's like, you're using your mind to get what you want and to like destroy what you don't like and that's what I did like so in after I watched those two documentaries the Obama Deception 2000 I don't even recommend I don't even want to recommend them but Bill Money Masters that was a a documentary and um, it was just from those two documentaries I ordered the Federal Reserve's private banking monopoly to come to an end and I just like in all my other witchcraft endeavors I got confirmation back yeah it's gonna happen so for great it's done. And then when Donald Trump came along in 2016, I was telling everyone, ah, he's just, just like everyone else now. So what's the point? Like, he's just a politician. There's nothing special about him. And then someone on YouTube was really angry with what I said. I compared him to Hillary Clinton and... This guy was so angry at me, and I, I felt his anger, and he blocked me from his YouTube. He blocked me from commenting again, so it was like he was really angry, and I thought, what the fuck's he angry so for? What the fuck's he so angry about? So that made, that inspired me to, like, go and listen to a interview between, uh, Donald Trump and someone else. <laughs> uh, it was a guy. He was interviewing a guy, and I watched the interview. And um, by the end of the interview, it was only like half an hour long. I just thought I loved what Donald. Tr I love what Trump said. It was fucking. It was just like normal stuff. Like, sound perfectly reasonable, and, um, I liked it, and then I realised then, after that, after that, like, normal interview that was broadcast, probably on TV and everything, after that interview, I didn't know who A.E.J. was, but, um, I went to his, um, I saw her in the, I saw her on YouTube, I was, I was searching for Donald Trump interviews and this, this one came up, said it was with, um, AJ and I didn't, who, didn't know who he was, but I started watching the interview and it was like half an hour long, 
33 minutes long and then uh, then he said he said some I'm sure he said something about like someone said something about him not really liking the Federal Reserve and how it is and um when I understood that I was like fuck you know it's come along like like, uh, it's been three years since I did that witchcraft to get the Federal Reserve's, like, private monopoly destroyed. And, um, it doesn't have to be destroyed in a nasty way, it's just like, it's got to end. And, um, so I got confirmation it's going to happen, like, in 2013, and then... For Don Shaw was just this other guy, but then someone told me he's not just like that, and then I realised he's not just like that, and I was really excited. And I was so excited. I'd, I was watching, um, I was watching YouTube every single day in 2016 from March, and I was like, all day, every day, I was like studying what's going on and. Because the two, the first two documentaries I watched, they depressed and angered me, and I just couldn't face, didn't want to face anything like that again. But when, when DJT was on the scene, it was like I could actually, I could actually study now because there's someone to study for, and. Um, we all, yeah, it was great, and um, in November 2016, I only had um, 3,000 pounds left, but I, I was like 97% sure Donald Trump's going to win, and in August 2016, I put like, I spent like um, about two thousand pounds for Donald Trump to win, and then on the election night, I spent like another one thousand pounds, and then it, that was all my money. I didn't have any more money left, and like so, from a, like three thousand pounds. Bet I got fourteen thousand pounds back, and then um, so that was quite a good feeling because I was like so sure because I was so studying, I was studying politics so strongly every day, day in day out that I just because I was studying it so hard, it just seems it's so obvious he's gonna win, but because of whatever reason the. The mainstream media didn't want it to happen. They like deluded themselves into thinking it wasn't going to happen, even though it certainly was going to happen. Um, but now it's not even about that. Now it's about now it's at a really different level. Like it's only it's like now it's my turn. It's my turn to step in now, like, you've obviously obliterated all the hopes I had for other people taking charge of the world, of my world, and, um, it's obviously not going well, so, it's my world, so, I'm come to step in and now I want to talk about the 21st of November... 2021, so it was 21 9 2021, and when you add up 21 9 2021, what do you get? Um, it's not even that, is it? It's 21 11 2021, but it's because um, the other day I was watching a video, and this woman was saying, like, November used to be the ninth day. The ninth month of the year, and I, I already knew that. 
But it's just because I heard that a couple of days ago. It's like, it didn't surprise me because I already knew that. But, you know, like, uh, concentrating my mind in a different place. So, but I don't think of it as the ninth month. I used to want them to change all the days and then all them, change all the months to make them line up with French or whatever. Like Latin or some some European language, and um, but no, it's twenty first of November, twenty twenty one was what happened at in the morning. Like I'd been up all night since the twentieth, and I've already said this, but my wife asked me to send her. 222 euros and 55 cents and then I worked out later in the morning that 222 could be like because the 21st of the 21st of uh, 2021 it's got three twos in it so you could say that that 222 222 euros is because it goes with a date, like there's three twos in the date. And then for the 55 cents, it was like, I worked out that the 21st to the 11th, if you add up all those numbers, you get two plus one plus one plus one is five. And then if you add up all the numbers in the year, 2021, you get 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5 again. So it makes like perfect sense why my wife asked me for, to send her 222 euros and 55 cents. And then after I worked that out the next day that it matched up with a date of the, that day, this next day. I uh, sent it to her, and um, this felt pretty good, and um, so then the day continued, and I think what happened was earlier in the morning, uh, later in the morning, I mean, no, earlier in the morning before I worked that out, um, but after she asked me for to, well, I was talking to her with her brother on the Facebook Messenger, and I was just typing, and he was asking if I was all right, or I asked if he was all right first, and he asked if I'm all right. I said I just want to get healthier, and he said that's easy, just um, just train hard and buy good food and train hard. And uh, I just thought, well, that's a really simple answer, but I wasn't, I wasn't thinking with that attitude. I was thinking with a nice attitude, like, it's like, yeah, I know, you just have to buy good food and train hard, but I have to train really hard and I have to work out, oh, well, that made me think about how we used to do sparring in the park like the park across the road from 16 guardian road uh, the park with a school school in it and um, all the skate parks and that park we used to do sparring in and um, I got really injured really badly injured from sparring with him and uh, what was that? Well, that wasn't the main thing. The main thing that we learned, well, that I learned was that when you want to develop a powerful kick, you, you're supposed to just keep trying, even when you've got so little energy left and you're so knackered, you're supposed to just keep trying, even though you're kicking really weak, you're supposed to just keep trying even when 
even when you're kicking really weak, you're supposed to just tr keep trying to kick it hard and you're just supposed to keep doing it. And, um, and then you go, you, start, you go beyond the point of fatigue where you are really fatigued, but um, you do get really fatigued, but you just keep going. You just keep trying to do it harder. And he says that's, well, he, t he taught me this, that that's how you develop a hard kick. And that's how we were sparring was with those um, pads. He was holding the pads up and I was kicking high up to his shoulders, whatever. And um, I don't, that was a pain in the ass to me, like... That wasn't my style. My style was to make really hard punches or kicks. But then when I didn't have the energy to do them, I'd just stop and I'd reserve the energy. But I realise that he's got a point and that's, the, that's not really the way you do it. Like, that's not, that's not going to help you get better. Like, that's not going to help you get more stamina or power. It's just going to keep you at a certain level. It's going to... You're not making so much progress. You're just taking it easy, basically. But, um... So I learned that how I'd been taking it easy. So when he said train hard, I just... I didn't think just, oh, yeah, let's train hard. I thought back to how we used to do sparring and how he used to be a lot physically stronger and more powerful than me and um, well in a bodily sense not a mental sense but um uh so I, f I was inspired by what he said and I thought yeah and then it, it took my attention to what the my what the biggest problem I had was was which was in my face, looking so old, and um, I just started thinking, yeah, I gotta start being really hard on my face. Like, I can't just, I can't just like do some hard blinking sometimes, and like I gotta go mental. Like I gotta. Apply the same sprint, the same principles that I learned from sparring, even though I didn't really take those principles on and begin training like that. I just learned that that is a way and it is effective to do that. But I just didn't do that. But when I was wanting to be healthy so much, that I just realised that I need to stop caring about making lines on my faces. I need to stop caring about making strange expressions on my face. I just need to put so much energy into exercising my face, into moving my face around or just putting so much effort, to putting so much strength into my facial movement. And then when I thought about that, that's, that came over me like a revelation for a while, that's amazing, that's what I need to do, and then I got like, I, I went, I started telling people it's the best day of my life, like, this is the greatest day of my life, and there was lots of shit about rainbows, you have to watch a video I got called Rainbows, but it was, uh, there was a rainbow on the 21st of November as well, and uh, but what else happened later that Henry said yet was someone, well, I played roulette because I felt like in, in uh, March 2019, I stopped playing roulette because I felt like I'd mastered roulette because I'd made profit in roulette every single day for five months. And I started on like 200 quid and I got up to... 18,000 quid from 200, starting on 200, making profit every day for five months, got up to 18,000 
And then on this one day that I got up to 18,000, so the, I'd, um, I lost 5,000 on that day, so I went down to 13,000 pound profit. And then I thought, well, I'm still pretty happy with that. And how I'm going to stay happy with that is I'm going to say, right, that's it. I'm not playing anymore. I won. Doesn't matter, I lost 5,000 today. I still won. And I'm not playing anymore because I'm going to put all my attention on reversing the aging process. And um, um, yeah, that's it. And finding exercises to reverse the aging process in, instead of finding ways to win roulette, beat the beat roulette and win it, just win. Uh, it was like I'd been successful at winning roulette, like I'd figured out how to win all the time, like make constant profit. And so I thought, all right, now it's time to exercise and then on the 21st of November so last year I felt like I I felt like I'd worked out how to now reverse the aging process so then I thought maybe I could go back to playing roulette again <laughs> like to switch them up but um I did try it and um I looked into Labrooks and I was on the live casino. I came into the room, the live casino room on the internet. As, and um, the ball was spinning, I think, or they, they were just about to spin it and there wasn't enough time to put any money on it. But I thought, shit, it's going to be number 15. And it was number 15. And then um, I was playing for about, for like 10 minutes at the most. And what I did in that 10 minutes was uh, just kept, I just, I won more than 50% of the time. I was winning. Uh, what was happening? Yeah, I was doing good. I was losing some, but I was winning most. And then, after about five spins, thought came over me, and I thought, I don't know, I don't know, it's 22, he's gonna, he's gonna spin it on 22 next time, and I just thought, I know it, like, it's gonna be 22, so, and then I put the number, I put the money on 22, and then I thought to myself, if it's going to be number 22, I'm not going to play this roulette anymore because it's obviously too easy for me. And it was, it landed on 22 and so I thought, oh shit, I'm not playing roulette anymore. And so I took my profits and the profits I made was about £126 or 200, £210. It was like it was a... £126 or £210, that was from 10 minutes work, starting with like um, 50 quid, I think. I started off with 50 quid. Yeah, maybe it was, I started off with 50 quid and got up to 1,126, I mean. But it could have been, I think it was 210 I ended up on. So it was like, with... Starting on 50 quid, I got up to like something like 200. I now made, I now made at least 126 pounds profit in those 10 minutes or whatever. And um, I just thought it's too easy, I'm not playing this game anymore. But what happened later on was uh, this guy from the Hollies, I was telling him how roulette's too easy for me and um, he, uh, and then he wanted to play roulette because he wanted to see what I could do, maybe. And, um, when I was, when I'm playing with him, when I was playing with him, it's not so easy because when you're playing with someone else, you, it's like two minds working and 
it's a lot harder to achieve peace between two people than it is with, with just one person. And um, we went from, like, I think we went from £70, we went down to, like, £20 left. But, um, something like that. Or from £40, we went down to £10 left or something like that. And then I started playing and I got... I got back up to, like, something like 70 quid and I thought... I just want to get to 80, but um, instead of getting to 80, I went back down to 40 or something, and um, that annoyed me, and then we ended up losing like nearly all of it, like 70 quid or something, but I was still in profit from that day, so I didn't have to think, oh, I'm going to play tomorrow and I'm going to win tomorrow, because... Just from that one day that I played, I was I was in profit from that day. I've made money on that day, and um, yeah, the thing that I was playing with the other guy, Sam Burgess, um, I was playing through that with him, and um, I wouldn't like. I'd, um, try and... I was, um, not very, um, yes, yeah, so I still felt to myself, thought to myself, like, I've, I've still, I've still made profit, so I don't need to be annoyed with this game, and I don't need to start into a habit, and oh yeah, I, what we were doing, me and him, we were playing not normal roulette, we were playing roulette with a hundred numbers, no, a hundred and five different numbers to bet on. So, what happened in the afternoon was when I, when I knew it was going to land on 15, then a few minutes later I knew it was going to land on 22, and I bet on 22, I thought... I'm not going to play that, I'm not going to play this game anymore if it lands on 22 and it did and um, I, I thought I'm not going to play this game anymore and then Sam was asking to play but I said yeah okay but we can play the American version which has got like one, it's got one more number in it than um, European, and that's another thing. Um, so we haven't heard today that I used to live on 16 Guardian Road. And 16, when I was 16, I prayed to God, please, dear God, just come inside my head so I don't have to pray anymore. And I've got all the wisdom and protection I need, blah blah, and um. Oh, it come into my head and I was 16 years old. Then when I was 26 years old, I moved into 16 Guardian Road. The thing about 16 Guardian Road is it starts with 16, so it reminds me of 16 being 16 years old. And then G starts with G and Guardian starts with G and then the second letter in Road is O, then Road ends in D, so it's like 16 God. So it's like saying that when I was 16 years old, I became God, and then that makes sense, and also, uh, there's more things, I forgot what I was talking about, oh yeah, about Guardian Road, this is 16 Guardian Road, yeah, and I'm, on the even side of all the even numbers, the even numbers go up to 36. And um, you remember earlier today, I was telling you, I only had two girlfriends ever in the city of Norwich, and um, well, any I only had two, I only had ever two girlfriends in Norwich who I spent any regular time with, and um, they both lived at number thirty six, and. 
the numbers in my road went up to number 36 and the numbers in roulette go up to number 36 and um, the thing about European roulette is it's got 37 numbers in it 1 to 36 but also 0 and then the thing about American roulette is it's just got numbers 1 to 36 again but then but then it's got a zero, and then it's got uh, two zeros next to each other to mean another number, so it's 38 numbers. And, um, so, so what I thought was, because of the... I'm going to have to make a video about Gabriel Ainsley's website called uh, 2028end.com and in that film in that um 2028end.com he mentions um what is it now what is it now like this is something it's something interesting it's got to be interesting man okay so he says um I can't remember now. But it's like I've got to make a video of it because I've got to show that he says that and then I've got to say what I say back from that. And, uh, I want to remember something. Um... It's, uh, thirty six, uh, six, 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 five, six. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, um, uh, it's getting complicated this video now. I don't like it because I lost my train of thought. Don't like it when this kind of thing happens. But the way to get around it is not to is not to do what I used to do and just just go for the big punches then just do big punches like my name's George Bernard, starts with G, ends with D. It's got an O in the middle and it's God for short. I used to say my name's George Bernard, I'm fucking hard and it's God for short. And they, they were the power punches, but, you know, it's not stamina. And to win a fight, you've got to have stamina. you just got to have so much power, and you've got to just keep the power coming. And I'm not a, I'm not a good boxer because I don't have that stamina. And I realise I do have that mental stamina, but I've got to use it. I've got to use the physical side of that for the bodily side of that. I mean, not the physical side of that because the the mind is physical everything that exists is physical there isn't anything in the universe that isn't physical okay so um so i want to talk about 36 again like the two girlfriends i had both living at number 36 one living at number 36 norgate road I'm one living at 36 something, and um, it's, it, it was a sign to me that this is a kind of evil number because 36 is uh, associated with gambling, like it's a gambling game, and then when you add, when you, like one plus, Add 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15. And then, if you could just keep saying that, and if you just keep going, keep going, and then when you say plus 35, plus 36, then you, it's like all the numbers together, they add up to 666. So not only is 36 like just... You could say in a, in a number 36, it's like three six, like three sixes, like six six six. It's actually that all, when you add up every single number between one and 36, you get six six six. So then, there, there's another thing that 
I always thought of um, 37 as, well I didn't, but I, what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really attack, um, I'm going to really attack the rich people um, with my next video, not maybe not my next video, but one of the videos where I actually use the screen recorder to listen to a song like I want to listen to a song and then I want people to understand where it comes from and um, how how it got me thinking about the number 777 and um, I didn't really used to think 777 has got anything to do with me maybe it's a god's number but I didn't feel like it's didn't feel like it's my number. I didn't feel like it's got anything to do with me. But then when, when I turned 37, when I became 37 years old, on the same day, like the 28th of May 2021, like things started to seem a lot different. Things started to have a lot of uh, different meaning to them. And it was a much brighter outlook. And... Um, so the thing with 37 is you can say 37 is like three sevens is like 777 seven, seven, but it's not just that. What it is is in the year 2000 in August I, I believe it was about between the 14th and the 17th or the 22nd of August or something like that. Something around those days I um I prayed to God, so please just come inside my head so I don't need to pray anymore. And um, I felt it, like the muscle contraction. And then, so I became, I was, I became, like it became my, this was my body then. Like, not, it wasn't just George's, or whoever George is, like George's, maybe George is some kind of brother or twin to God. But it was like, it was actually God now in George's body, and it was like, he's a now a baby, like, God is now a baby, and a brand new human, even though 16 years old, is brand new to him, so this makes him zero years old and then in the year 2000 he was zero years old again and um so he was zero i was uh, 16 and then in the year 20 no, in the year 2020 i was 36 and he was 20 and the thing about 20 is george francis Bernard, my original name, had 20 characters in it. And then, when he said, like, 16 Guardian Road, NR5, APW, that's got 20 characters in it as well. And then when he said, 4 Holly's Lodge, NR15, 2LH, that has 20 characters in it as well. And then when he said, 7 Holly's Lodge, hmm... NR15, 2LG, and that has 20 characters in it as well. And then when you said Appleton Lodge, NR30, 2LF, that had 20 characters in it as well. So it was like 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So it was all this 20 stuff, like God was now 20 years old, or God was turning 20 years old in... 2020, and, um, I was 36, and, um, wasn't too good for me, I was, I had to fucking die, I mean, I mean, I had to leave the body, because I just felt so unwell, like, uh, I just had to fly off, like, I had to, I had to leave the body, because I just didn't feel like I could take it anymore, and, um, a week before that happened, no, I don't want to talk about it, but, um, 
So I like Kanye West, always like Kanye West. But um, he's not, I don't like him so much anymore since the last time I really liked him was when he brought out that Tra Travis Scott song about like raining blood down. That's the last song I liked because that got me hyped up. And then that was the last time he ever got me hyped up. And it was always... He, he became a non-believer. He stopped believing in his own dreams. He just started believing in other people's dreams. He started believing... There's no, there's no way to stop d death. No one can ever stop dying. And that disappoints me very much. And um, so I'm disappointed in... Kanye West, I'm disappointed in Lauren Hill because they're two both they're two people who I both looked up to and they just let me down. And they they said they believe in me and they just don't. They don't believe in me at all. Because if I say if I say stuff like just if I say to John, just like, just write this verse, like John 16. If I tell him, do that. And then you say, nah, it can't be done. And you don't believe in me, do you? So anyway, the shit goes on, like, and it's getting depressing now. And I haven't got any friends. Like, I, I, I know I was getting close to Lauren Hill in her heart, but she wasn't talking to me. It, it was just like I was a private fantasy. I wasn't... She wasn't talking. Um, so, yeah, I ended up completely on my own and in a mental hospital with shit food. I'm just eating... Cheese and bread. That's about my diet. And what else can I have to eat? I get like chickpeas. I get like rubbish food. I hate it. I don't. I just want to eat raw food. Anyway, let's keep this video going because it's quite a nice atmosphere. It's green. It's much nicer than steadier than other videos. Once you've got a good groove going, you know, you know, you just don't, it seems good, it's like not too long, it's what, one hour and 42 sounds fine to me, like, um, so try and keep it peaceful, yeah, and, um, yeah, when I was eight, I got given an orange bike, it was an orange BMX, and I just thought that was so cool, just looked so cool, and I felt really cool, driving around town on it. And then when I was 15, I got a silver BMX and I felt quite the same about that, but not long later, I realized there's bigger men on bigger bikes. And I'm on a BMX when I'm 15 and it's I did a 30 mile bike ride on a BMX and it just seems a bit strange. I liked, um, the last time I was into bikes was like 2018 before I biked to Yarmouth or Yarmouth, all that stuff. Yeah, before a journey I had, I was into it. I'd, what I'd do was look up on YouTube, like, what I'd do was buy massive rings, so like 57 teeth or 60 teeth, I wanted like 60 teeth in the front, the front ring that the chain goes around, and then I wanted like 8 teeth in the back, so I wanted it to really make the pedal's so stiff that it's like you're working so hard to just go three miles in a row. Like, I don't even, I don't even care about speed. All I want to do is work my body as hard as I can. 
and um, get stronger. But I realised from the principle of sparring that slow and hard isn't necessarily um, better than uh, fast and hard. I just don't like the, I don't know. What I like doing is I like eating loads of food so I've got enough energy, then I don't get tired. Oh. Now anyway, like in 2018, I really did want to become the Norwich Football Club manager, but now I had ambivalent thoughts about it. I don't really want it. Because I hate football, and I hate football, and I hate all sports, because when people play sports, they try and beat other people, and they try to compete, and one thing I didn't like about AEJ was, he was always saying competition is healthy, and I don't think it is, it's, um, it's a, it's a negative thing when you lose. I used to I used to revel in losing because I knew the more times I lost, the closer I was becoming to winning. And that's how it always went with me playing this game called table tennis, which I now I hate it. But um yeah, and Justin Jarvis when he was like here last time he said he said um because they sometimes play table tennis in here with a little table. And he said, um, table tennis is such a gay game. And I agreed with him. But um, I used to really play loads of table tennis. And uh, so um, I like the speed of it. But um, yeah, it's gay. Um, so let's go at the 23rd of November 2021. And what happened on the 23rd of November 2021 was um, in the morning, I came through to the dining room in the Hollies, and I don't usually go in, a, it didn't usually go in the dining room ever. But um, felt like going in that day. And then I walked up to the one of the windows and I realised, well, I already knew from seeing it from the outside, but I just thought, wow, there's a picture of a rainbow in front of me, which is printed on the other side to point out to the, to, to display on the other side, to display for the people outside, not the people inside. But when you're on the inside, you can, and it's a bright day, you can still see light shining through the paper so you can still see the rainbow from the other side and then um that reminded me of a dream that i had in 2018 where i became famous for who i am and um, i became more famous than well i mean within two weeks i became more famous than beyonce like, people knew me throughout the world more than they knew Beyonce within, like, two weeks. And what I did in that time was I was locked up in a high-security prison, or a high-security um, cage, basically. And, uh, like, um, like, the sort of cage you'd find that um, someone in a horror film... But um, I'd, I'd walk around this cage, and sometimes I'd come out of this cage, but I'd still be in this dark room. And all I'd do is walk around in circles, and um, but I'd put a lot of energy into walking around in circles. I'd be like tensed up, and like really... And... Um, what happened was um, 
people realised that I didn't sleep. And then when people realised I didn't sleep, they assumed, well, they just, they just knew I must be God then. No one else can do that. Or, and um, I still don't want sleep and I still know that I can go without sleep if people just let me eat what I want to eat and stop restricting my diet. And um, I know I can get everyone else to stop sleeping as well. And sleep's just such a, an annoying, boring thing to do. It's like go unconscious, it's like when I think of sleep, I think of drunk people passing out on the sofa and snoring, thinking of old men snoring as well. And you're just half assed, man. You're not, you're not even trying. So that's a bit harsh.